hi guys hope everyone is safe this is a quick tutorial on rpcs3 emulator in case if you don't know what rpcs3 emulator is let me tell you this is a ps3 emulator by using this emulator we can run the ps3 games on pc so this is the official website of rpcs3 emulator so it is an open source open source uh, you can download it for free so click on download so it is available for windows and linux so currently i'm using windows 11 public beta so i'll download the windows version click on download so this is the emulator so for this we need to download firmware so this is the official website for that so click on download So this is the rpcs3 emulator zip file so i'll paste it on my desktop so this is not an installation file this is just a zip file we need to extract it so right click and extract here So this is the emulator we need to open this so once you open you will get this pop up so you need to select this both once you open the emulator you need to go to files and install firmware so go to the folder where it is downloaded so we'll go for Windows Manager and click on this open so it has been successfully installed from there it will run for some time so installation has completed so now you need to go and add the games so go to the file and click on add games so i will just add the wrc4 i will select this folder and select for so once you add the game so go to patch so if you are using a keyboard uh, you can select this it is it will automatically detect the keys if you don't want this keys and you, you need you can change it manually by clicking like this so currently i'm using xbox one controller so i'll go for input x input so it will automatically map the buttons so i don't have to do any changes here so i'll click on save so once it is done we'll go to games and right click and create a custom configuration so for cpu we will keep it as default we don't need to change anything here so go to cpu a gpu and it should be awoken and uh, nvidia this is my graphic card depending on your graphic card you can select this so aspect ratio will be the same and uh, frame limits i keep it off because uh, i generally get a good fps when it is turned off so anti glaze i i generally disable this we can try whichever it works for you guys so it is uh, recommended so i'll keep it like this uh, resolution scale you can scale it up like this so currently i'll keep it on 100 and you need to select this multi-threading and uh, additional settings you need to toggle right colors buffer v-sync should be turned off turned on sorry and coming to advanced settings for read color buffer and this just generally should be like 200 or 
ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ విత్ ఇన్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ లైక్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ సో వన్ సిట్ ఇస్ దన్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ ఫార్ అన్ ఎఫ్పిఎస్ ఓవర్ సో ఐ విల్ సెలెక్ట్ దిస్ సో ఐ క్లిక్ ఆన్ అప్లై అండ్ సేఫ్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ సో ఇయర్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ సీ ది డీ బగ్గింగ్ ఆప్షన్స్ సో లెట్ మీ షో యూ సో యూ నీడ్ టు ఎనేబుల్ డీ బగ్గింగ్ సో యూ నీడ్ టు కమ్ ఫార్ దిస్ ఫోల్డర్ వెర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్టెడ్ ది ఫైల్ దిస్ ఇస్ ది ఆర్పిసిఎస్ త్రీ ఎమ్యులేటర్ ఫైల్ so you need to come for gui config and go to current settings scroll down and give it true show debug tab so, so give it save we need to close this and so this then open it open the emulator right click and click on change custom config now you can see the debugging option so you need to turn this on because if you don't turn this on it will show like this the character will be like blackish is unclear so once you once you select this option it will look better so if if it doesn't work you can select this both both works fine so currently i'll keep it to for cpu click on apply and save configuration so i'll right click and boot with custom configuration it will take some time to load all right guys it has been started so let's see the gameplay welcome experience the entire You can participate in one of the 30 WRC4 All successful drivers understand Few rallies can boast the appeal and tradition of the Acropolis rally Right 
all right guys as you seen the gameplay so i'll be uploading uh, the gameplay separately so you can check the performance so let me know if if you guys have any questions uh, i hope to see you guys in my next video till then take care